Max Meyer, right-handed pitcher, University of Minnesota. All right, Max. Um, one of the things I love to start out with is just your introduction to baseball. When, how did you first get introduced and hold a ball in your hand? Yeah, that was definitely, I don't even know, you know, what age specifically, but back in the day, you know, me and my brother and my dad would always play catch out in the backyard. And, uh, you know, I've been playing, you know, games with them ever since, whether it's hockey, baseball, whatever. Uh, I, I mean, that was, it was a long time ago. That's all I know. There's a great picture of you on Instagram as a kid. Like you got a jersey, you're holding somebody. <laughs> Can you talk about even that photo and just what you were like, like intensity wise, maybe a little competitive? Yeah, I mean, that was that was definitely kind of a joke, I guess, to just joking around with my buddy. But you no, know, I can't even really remember that. But I've seen that picture of me holding on to his name's Logan Welch's jersey. I think he was going to go into pitch and I was like you better not mess this up or something and I'm just joking around but I've always been really loose when I'm when I'm playing baseball and I always like to have a good time I I could tell and it, I, you could tell by the look on his face that it was it was all in jest all in fun how how old were you there um I think that was probably like 10 years old what are your some of your favorite memories going back to more of that time the early the early years yeah there's there's one kind of memory that I can that I recall and that was when when I was on a little league team and we were playing for a championship game I forgot what, what it was even for but uh, I went up there and I was a switch hitter back at back uh, in the day and I hit a home run lefty and righty in the championship game and we we ended up winning that one so that was probably my favorite uh, memory. Oh I love that. What are some of the things that you've done besides the weight room to get as hard as you throw the ball now? Really, the weight room was the biggest thing, but I think uh, also, honestly, it was like in the winter, um, all my, all the guys, all the other pitchers are throwing like 95, 96 miles an hour, and uh, we're having to go up against them every single day, so I, I kind of took that as like, I, I just want to throw the hardest on the team, and just competing with uh, our pitchers who have just nasty stuff, and trying to be the best out of those guys really helped me uh, just pushing each other every single day. Were you a driveline guy? Did you do that at all? Get involved no, in that? I've actually never picked up a weighted ball in my life. And I mean, I'm, I don't even do any of that technology either. So I'm, I'm, I'm really an old school pitcher, I feel like. Describe old school to me when you uh, describe yourself, but also in, with that old school, I guess, mindset. Yeah, I guess just going out there every time, um, just pissed off, I guess, and just wanting to dominate everyone I pitch I mean I, I go out there and I don't really want anyone to even touch a ball I throw and I don't worry about you know what angles or what my hips are doing and stuff it's just go out there and compete you seem to have that mindset that mentality and you mentioned it even your senior year being more undersized and even now six feet when you compare to a lot of you know the guys you see in the bigs how something that you've always been able to handle your size your mentality how has that helped you um definitely having a chip on my shoulder you know, it's, I mean, the typical whatever starter is like six four. I don't know, 200 some pounds. And, you know, just being able to, you know, my mentality and my confidence levels have, have always helped me succeed and, you know, whatever I've had to do and just, you know, trying to be the best uh, player at all times. Is there anything you have written down or even like in your mindset? Um, I know you have a tattoo as well, but is there something that when you talk about that confidence, that reassurance, it just seems like when you're pitching, there is that there's something going on like there inside your mind. What, what is your self-talk like? What do you tell yourself? Really? It's, I don't do too much. Honestly, it's just like go out there and I feel like I kind of turn into like a different person and, I just like have some sort of fire under me whenever I'm out there on the mound and I just I just want to win everything I do and it's just I feel like I turn into a different kind of human I guess. <laughs> when you you know you had experience your freshman year as a closer um, obviously then getting your way into the starting rotation um, if there's conversation around you pitching out of a bullpen being a starting pitcher I mean where where is your heart at where would you want to be no matter what? Yeah I mean I'd love to start and throw all nine innings and close the game down too but you know whatever whatever a team's gonna want me to do whether it's start or uh, close for them I just want to at the end of the day I just want to win ball games for them and uh, contribute uh, the most as possible. Um, my final question was just more um, Team USA. I, uh, 
I'm biased, but I think playing for our country and USA is something I've always enjoyed. And for you to be able to do that, can you just tell me about that experience? It was, I mean, it was unbelievable both years. I feel like my best experience too for USA was um, when we were playing Japan on the 4th of July um, at the Durham Park. And it was bottom nine, two outs, and I came in to close, and uh, I struck the kid out on three pitches, and it was a 1-0 ball game, and, you know, all the fans are going nuts, and, you know, the fireworks start shooting, and it was just it was just unbelievable experience for me. Where would you rank that? That was probably my best experience of all time, honestly. That's awesome. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.